Hey everyone, it's Rushab, and today I'm walking you through my full Mendeley setup. I'm going to show you how I use Mendeley in the context of writing a research paper, gathering literature for such a paper, and also doing student work where I might need to have some citations and references. Mendeley is an absolutely incredible tool when it comes to creating these references and automatically updating your bibliographies in Microsoft Word. So my Mendeley setup is split up into three main parts, which include, of course, the Microsoft Word plugin, the Chrome browser extension, and finally the desktop tool. I use all three of these for different tasks, and I highly recommend at the very least getting both the Chrome extension and the MS Word plugin. In my opinion, the desktop tool comes in handy when you need to gather the actual PDFs and full papers or doing a ginormous literature search. Given all of that, let's straight jump into how we can get set up with Mendeley and then two workflows where we'll actually use Mendeley to cite some literature and get some references done. So over on Chrome, in order to install Mendeley, you're just going to want to head over to Mendeley.com. And at the very bottom, you'll find both the reference manager as well as the web importer and citation plugin. The reference manager is the desktop tool, which I'm referring to as desktop, Mendeley desktop, and that's available on multiple operating systems. Then you have the Mendeley web importer, which is available for Chromium based browsers. I think I've used this on both Microsoft Edge as well as Google Chrome and the Mendeley site, which is considered the plugin available for Microsoft Word. And this is also very, very helpful. So given all of those three, once you go ahead and have those installed, let's jump into two workflows where we can actually use Mendeley. So the first is when we need to cite some literature. Over here, over in Microsoft Word, I have a quick paragraph summary written of the first couple of points made in this article written on NCBI. And basically what I'm gonna go ahead and do here is add a citation, an in-text citation, and later uh, a bibliography for this literature that I want to reference. So in the top right corner on our Mendeley web importer, the Chrome extension, just go ahead and press on that. And we can actually um, automatically have a population of whatever article we're currently looking at and add that into our library. Now, you'll see this both in the desktop tool as well as in the plugin. On the desktop tool, you might have to hit the sync in the top left corner, and the article should appear um, in your library. As you can see here, I have this added um, and from previously when I was testing this out. And over in Microsoft Word, we can now um, have the plugin and actually use this to create a citation. So let's say I want to add in the citation after it mentions chapter five. Using Mendeley, it's really simple. We just press insert citation, um, type in the name of the article or the author if we know that, uh, press on the article and press OK. It will add that citation in. Now, the best thing that I really appreciate about this plugin is the styling. You can choose any style from whichever APA format or journal format that you want to use. Uh, what's really great is Mendeley has so many different styles for whichever journal that you're trying to uh, submit to or if you're creating a research paper, which makes it really really useful. You can even get more styles and import custom ones. Um, so Mendeley makes it very easy to have those in-text citations in the exact format that you want. Now that you've created that citation, we of course need to insert our bibliography, let's say at the bottom under our references section. And to do that, we just press the insert bibliography button. And again, this is just going to populate with um, the reference that we've just created now. And we can go ahead and change this again from any format. Let's say it was the IEEE format. Now we have it numbered in the square brackets, which is of course very helpful. Now the second biggest workflow when it comes to Mendeley is importing literature from PDF documents. Now for this example, I'd like to head over to an open access journal. And as you can see here, Mendeley actually pops up on the right side, uh, asking us if we want to view a PDF of uh, this article. So viewing the PDF will just pop up the Mendeley uh, extension in your Chrome browser and allow you to read that as you go. But what is more helpful is adding that locally onto your machine. So you have that for your own reference. And to do that, you can add it into your library. Uh, once you add it into your library and sync it, the desktop tool will actually automatically install the PDF onto your machine. So if I go ahead and sync that, it's going to add that into a Mendeley program files folder or directory onto my machine and automatically have that PDF there. So this article um, 
let's sort by the recency of when I added this. And as you can see, it's available here. And if I just double click on that, Mendeley will pop up this article. So we no longer have to go back through our Chrome history and search for that. It's available right here, um, which is very helpful. And of course, in Microsoft Edge, if we were to cite this in, or in Microsoft Word, excuse me, if we were to cite this in right here, again, we would just insert the citation based on the name or the author name. And press OK, and it will insert it and automatically update our big bibliography. So those are two workflows that are really helpful when using Mendeley that should save you a lot of time. Now that I've gone over some general workflows for using Mendeley, I'd like to go over three quick tips and tricks to really enhance your experience on Mendeley. The first is, of course, the folders. Mendeley allows you to create folders within your library to sort by various research projects that you're doing or different assignments if you're a student that you're completing. And that is really a game changer because it allows you to stay completely organized whenever you're using Mendeley on the web as well. You can choose it to add to certain folders or collections and then view those in the library both on your browser and on your local machine. Now, my second tip and trick for you is the ability to import in BibTeX, EndNote, or RIS or RIS format files that contain all of your references directly into Mendeley. And the way to do that is to use the desktop tool. Let's say I have this file, it's called new5.bib, um, and I have that saved onto my machine. We can go ahead into the Mendeley desktop tool and under file, import, we can import a bib directly into our library and that's going to add in all of those citations and instantly in microsoft word if we want to insert that we can go ahead and do so and my third tip or trick is directed to my fellow peers my fellow students who want to use mendeley and that is actually more of a suggestion rather than a tip or trick. And that suggestion is just to go ahead and get started using Mendeley and to start using the APA format. It automatically formats those in-text citations as well as the bibliography for you. So everything is perfect and you won't lose any points on assignments. So Mendeley is an incredibly powerful tool that I'm sure has many other possible workflows and tips and tricks, but these were just my two favorite workflows and three tips and tricks that I have for you. If you enjoyed this, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel. And if you have tips or tricks to share with the community, go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section. With that, I will see you next time. Rishabh, signing out.